the search for extraterrestrial life in our solar system just got more exciting. Alien life may be lurking right in Earth's cosmic backyard. Some of the icy moons of Saturn and Jupiter are known to harbor subsurface oceans. That could provide habitable environments. There are five icy moons in our solar system that could potentially host extraterrestrial life. Join us in our cosmic journey. In search of answers to one of humanity's greatest questions. Are we alone in the universe? The first one is Jupiter's moon Europa. Europa is the sixth largest moon in the solar system. Europa was discovered independently by Simon Marius and Galileo Galilei in 1610. Europa is a rocky object covered with an extremely smooth, elaborately patterned surface of ice. Europa has a diameter of 3,130 kilometers, which makes it a little smaller than Earth's moon. Average surface temperature is minus 160 degrees Celsius. It consists predominantly of rock with a fairly small proportion of frozen or liquid water. The induced field and some unusual surface features suggest that a liquid ocean may lie hidden within or below the icy crust. Europa has a tenuous atmosphere that is mostly oxygen and contains traces of water and hydrogen. Liquid water tops the list of ingredients for life, and Europa has lots of it. Scientists are confident there's a rocky sea floor at the bottom of Europa's ocean. Hydrothermal activity could possibly supply chemical nutrients that could support living organisms. Along with water, life as we know it also needs certain chemical elements. The building blocks of life, including carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. Scientists think some of these essential chemical elements may be located within Europa's icy shell. Tidal flexing is a heating system that can cycle water and nutrients among the moon's rocky interior, ice shell, and ocean. This could create a watery environment rich with chemistry conducive to life. The third ingredient for life is energy. On Earth, most of that energy comes from the sun. Europa's surface is blasted by radiation from Jupiter. The radiation splits apart water molecules, oxygen and hydrogen in Europa's extremely tenuous atmosphere. The hydrogen floats away and much of the oxygen stays behind and may bind to other elements. Oxygen is a very reactive element, which means it could potentially be used in chemical reactions that release energy. If the oxygen somehow makes its way to the ocean, it could react with other chemicals to possibly provide chemical energy for microbial life. The second one is Saturn's Moon Titan. Titan is the largest moon of Saturn, the second largest in the solar system. It was discovered by Christian Huygens in 1655. It is the only moon in the solar system known to have clouds and a thick, planet-like atmosphere. Titan has a diameter of 5,149.5 kilometers. Average surface temperature is minus 180 degrees Celsius. The Cassini spacecraft revealed that the moon is hiding an underground ocean of liquid water likely mixed with salts and ammonia. The European Space Agency's Huygens probe also measured radio signals during its descent to the surface in 2005. That strongly suggested the presence of an ocean 35 to 50 miles below the icy ground. The discovery of a global ocean of liquid water adds Titan to the handful of worlds in our solar system that could potentially contain habitable environments. Additionally, Titan's rivers, lakes and seas of liquid methane and ethane might serve as a habitable environment on the moon's surface, though any life there would likely be very different from Earth's life. Although there is so far no evidence of life on Titan, its complex chemistry and unique environments are certain to make it a destination for continued exploration. The third one is Saturn's moon Enceladus Enceladus, second nearest of the major regular moons of Saturn, and the brightest of all its moons. 
It was discovered in 1789 by the English astronomer William Herschel. Enceladus measures about 500 kilometers in diameter. The surface is almost pure water ice, with trace amounts of carbon dioxide, ammonia, and light hydrocarbons. Average surface temperature is minus 201 degrees Celsius. NASA's Cassini spacecraft discovered hydrogen in the plume of gas, and icy particles spraying from Saturn's moon Enceladus. The discovery means the small, icy moon, which has a global ocean under its surface. It has a source of chemical energy that could be useful for microbes, if any exist there. On Earth, such hydrothermal vents support growing communities of life in complete isolation from sunlight. Enceladus now appears likely to have all three of the ingredients scientists think life needs. Liquid water a source of energy like sunlight or chemical energy, and the right chemical ingredients like carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen. Though Cassini is not able to detect life and has found no evidence that Enceladus is inhabited. Future missions to this icy moon may shed light on its habitability. The fourth one is Jupiter's moon, Ganymede. Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system. It was discovered by the astronomer Galileo and Simon Mariu in 1610. Ganymede has a diameter of about 5,270 kilometers. Its composition is roughly half rock and half water ice by mass. Spacecraft investigations of its gravity field reveal that the interior consists of a dense, iron-rich core with a radius of 1,500 kilometers surrounded by a rocky lower mantle which is wrapped with a layer of ice some 700 kilometers thick. The iron core produces a magnetic field that is 1% as strong as Earth's. Astronomers using the Hubble Space Telescope have found evidence of a thin oxygen atmosphere on Ganymede. The researchers think the oxygen is coming from Ganymede's icy surface. Ganymede is much colder than Earth with daytime surface temperatures is around minus 182 degrees Celsius. Jupiter and its moons receive less than 1 slash 30 for the amount of sunlight that the Earth does. Ganymede has its own magnetosphere, a region of charged particles that surrounds many planets but had never before been found around a moon. A computer model of Ganymede's interior created in 2014 supported the idea that the development of primitive life might be possible there. The model indicated the icy moon's rocky sea bottom might be in contact with salt water. Scientists think water and rock interacting are key for the development of life. These icy moons are just the tip of the cosmic iceberg. The search for life beyond Earth is a journey, not a destination. Each step, each discovery, brings us closer to the unimaginable. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic adventure. And until next time, remember, keep your eyes on the stars. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this.